Hey y'all, Chris again coming at you with another video. Um, as the title states, today's video is a kind of an unboxing and review, mini review of the Seiko 5 GMT. Now quick rip swap check, I am indeed wearing that second hour, this is the memoir. Look for a full review of this guy coming up soon guys. Uh, been a little bit busy with the day job and also running watch gauge. As you guys know, I am running watch gauge since the paid promotion at the beginning of the video guys. Because I, of course, am selling watches there, and you guys will see a little commercial for watch gauge in between the review. But I do know that I am a little bit late to the party when it comes to the Seiko 5 GMT, guys. I don't know what took me so long to get one. They do retail at about $500, and they are available locally. Usually, I saw one in the local Dillard's. If you guys have a Dillard or a Belk, I do believe Belk does carry them as well. You're in local mall. You can go try these on now. Do I suggest buying these there? No, because they are not a buy at your local Dillard's or Belk. They, they can be a buy at your local AD sometimes, depending on what they have. Specials running, um, you can pick them up right around $300 something, dollars, I believe. Uh, I do know they retail again for like $500, but for the specs, I feel like it's a lot of watch for the money. A lot of people might think $500. The Seiko is not the same Seiko as when we started collecting years ago, eons ago. It feels like, guys, when we can get a SKX for a couple hundred dollars guys and be done with it. Now this does remind me a lot of the SKX. It is a really cool, really solidly built piece, especially for the price. Now I pay pre-owned, you can pick them up even cheaper guys. Just again, by the seller. Um, I bought it from a trusted seller that I, I bought many pieces from already you guys. But uh, you know who you are, uh, shout out to you. Thanks for the great deal. I got it for $260 guys and I do feel like for the $260, this is a solid piece, especially for what you get. But anyways, guys, we'll go to the desktop and I'll show you the watch in question. Now, here is said watch in question, guys. Of course, the box is nothing too crazy to write home about. This particular model is SSK0017, guys. They do come in different references, different um, colorways. The colorway I chose, as I mentioned, was or is the yellow dial. I feel like that's one of the more versatile pieces next to the, the black dial. They have a black, almost like Batman GMT kind of dial with the, the bi-directional bezel with the black and blue bezel. They also do have an orange, and as I said, many of you would have thought I would have picked the orange, but I ended up going with the yellow just for something a little bit different. Again, the box is nothing too crazy. I'll show you that. Typical Seiko box, again, nothing too crazy, kind of plastic packaging, guys, kind of what you expect from a bargain watch, but again, here is the said watch in question, now, I have been wearing this, and again, this, I did take this pre on, and it is slightly used, but as you can see, it is in really good condition, I do have to size the bracelet, I do have to take one or two links off, and what size for it, an 8 inch wrist, my wrist is 7.5 inches, and I will show you what it looks like on my wrist as well. But as you can see, that yellow dial kind of really pops out at you. It does come in a 14 millimeter case here, guys. It does come in a 22 millimeter bracelet, which the bracelet is actually pretty nice. I can get it to focus here on the on the watch. Camera's getting a little blurry, guys. I apologize. But again, the bracelet does taper down to 18 millimeters here at the end. Works really well. And again, this is a 42 and a half millimeter case, which some might think is a little bit big for some people. But again, it wears really well on the wrist. I'll see what it looks like on my seven and a half inches. Take off the second hour. And again, with the watch lounge, I will not be covering just all micro brands. I will be covering mainstream brands like the Seiko as well. Speaking about luxury watches as well, so as you know, this channel will keep for that as well. It does come with the Seiko 4 arm movement, which is really nice. It is only 100 meters water resistance, which some people complain about. But for the price point, you can't really beat it. That, that's more than enough, more than most of us are going to use, guys. It does have that Seiko loom. And again, it is a bi-directional bezel. I do wish the bezel had a little bit more clicking action, I guess. It, kind of a fidget spinner, I guess, as some people would say. But overall, that's about the only complaint on here. It is a, I believe, a um, hard lex crystal over sapphire. You can see that date magnifier here, which I don't usually like, but I feel like it's kind of clean right there. The red GMT hand here. And again, I feel like for a bargain GMT watch, this is definitely a killer watch, guys.
But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe. And I noticed that a lot of you guys are not subscribed. Uh, about 20% of you guys, 30% of you guys that watch the videos are not subscribed. So if you don't mind, that would help the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. We'll see you next one. Peace. Hey y'all, quick mandatory plug guys. Um, just wanted to throw this in really quick. Again, this is kind of sponsored by Watch Gauge. I am running Watch Gauge, guys. Um, we do have a discount running on NPH while they are in stock, guys. We have plenty of NPH left. They are selling pretty quick, but you can go in and use the code NPH32 at checkout at watchgauge.com, guys. I'll leave a link down below. 32% off all NPH in stock. And also, we do have a few Zodiacs left, guys. Um, this particular one, I don't think is going to be left, but we do have a lot of Zodiac left. And those are now 25% off, guys. You can use the code ZC25 at checkout for 25% off of Zodiac. And go over and check out all the new micro brands that we are adding. We have added um, some mainstream brands as well. We just added Delma over. We are the first online authorized dealer for Delma, guys. Pretty excited to add them. We just added some more DeVosa pieces as well. But anyways, guys, go over and check out watchcage.com and check out what deals we have on the website and see what we have over there. And we will see you guys in the next one.